guys, uh, this is Sarah, and this is my friend Allie. We're both math teachers. I'm currently teaching high school, and Allie's teaching no, at a really amazing uh, K Minneapolis. And I used to teach here. I'm so sad I'm not here because I love working with this woman. But what she's a master of, and I think a lot of us math teachers do not see as part of our job, is moving in the math classroom every single day, getting your kids up and going. We know from the research that kids should be moving every 15, 20 minutes during the course of our hours. So if you're teaching 50 minutes, if you're not having kids get up at least once, we know that's not best practice. But how do you do that when we have a thousand standards that we need to teach? And so we're gonna have a blog on that, but I wanna issue you a challenge. Um, and I'm gonna ask Allie first one question, and then I'm gonna tell you what the challenge is for every single math teacher in 2017, 18. Um, Allie, tell me, when I say movement in the class, just give me a quick definition of what that means to you. Movement in a math class. Could be anything. Could be a whole lesson that's based on movement. It could be one 30 second break where everybody does something. It could be a stand up, a walk and talk idea, get up on your chair, yell out answers. It could be so many different things. And what I know of you is that you do movement for one of two reasons usually. Either to give a brain break, a quick brain break, or you do it because it's highly connected to what you're doing in class. If yes. you had to break that proportion down between those two out of 100%, how would you break that down? Well, since we do, it's much harder to plan an entire lesson based around yeah. movement. You can do movement things in class though, every day that, where you don't have to write an entire lesson on them. But of the movement you, know, you do, would you say most of it's connected to your lesson? Yes, totally. Yeah, and that's what I've yeah. seen is like 90, 95% of it's connected it's to time, the math. Yes. Like you don't have time to do things that aren't connected to the math, <laughs> but occasionally you do some kind of brain break of just to get them going. So here's my challenge to every single math teacher. It is, I will be doing this in a high school, and if I can do this with high school students, you can do it anywhere. In 2017, 18, I'm gonna give you a challenge that every week, once a week minimum, that you do a brain break for 30 seconds minimum. Just, that's all I ask of you. Um, one tip on that, if you take my challenge, is the first week of school, do that at least two or three times uh, during that time. We'll have on our blog some simple ways to do that, but the second, if you feel like you can't do that, then I'm gonna ask you for a minimum of one minute once a quarter, just force yourself to do it. When you start doing it, it's not always easy the first time, but the second, third, or fourth time. So 27 to 18 is the year that math teachers get serious about movement.